Life is beautiful, everybody knows that. Life is beautiful because it's unpredictable. One can plan and replan and cancel the plan and replan again and change the plan, but life will just follow its course and life will hit you, it really will. And it will not ask for permission of any kind and it will not apologize afterwards. So it happened to me as well, I, against all my potential predictions and possible predictions, I found myself heavily pregnant and the CEO of a lifestyle startup in serious heavy fundraising mode. I was a mother for the second time, which made things easier, but I was CEO, co-founder and entrepreneur for the first time in my life, and this made things fascinatingly complicated. <laughs> Actually, building a company from scratch with a newborn in your arms, it's one in a lifetime experience, really. I, I felt like a hero, <laughs> a real one. But people around me said and thought differently. How are you gonna do it? This is gonna be so difficult. It is so risky to build a company and a family at the same time. Why are you doing that? You know, you're going to be so tired, you will not perform, you will be frustrated. And you know what, I mean, seriously talking, a CEO should really focus on the business. And you know, a mother, I mean, better focus on the kids, right? I mean, that's how it should be. Well, uh, let's say that I didn't know, I didn't have a clue how I would do it. I just followed the flow and did it. And time has passed now. My daughter is seven. My son is two, and my company is two. And I know better now. Mothers, which are managers at the same time, are not sidetracked. Mothers, which are managers at the same time, they're not defocused. They are tired very often, okay, always, <laughs> but, uh, but they're not underperforming, not at all. Actually, mothers and managers share so much responsibilities. They have exactly the same goal. They want their babies to grow old and flourish. And this is exactly what they want to reach. And to reach that goal, they actually, listen to me, really having exactly the same skills. They need to have the same skills. And they have a unique golden opportunity to actually train and learn at home how to be better brilliant managers and to train and learn at work how to be better and brilliant mothers. What can you learn at home and at work? Many, many things. Just to name a few, uh, you can learn how to delegate better, how to build trust, how to handle and manage stress, but also time, and learn how to prioritize. Learn how to troubleshoot quickly, you gotta decide very quickly. And learn, you know, how to um, budget, that's also very important in a family and a company. Many, many things, really. But uh, let me focus on two aspects, which are, for me, right now, really important at this point in time. Multitasking, everybody heard of that. We women are good at that. And engaging. As the CEO of a young, high-paced, super funny company, uh, always on the road, I have to deal every single day with a million different topics at the same time. It sometimes it gets crazy. Classical scene, I'm all into my projections, financial projections, sales projections, all into the numbers. And I get a message from the manufacturing team, can you please call us up? There is an emergency, we need to fix something, please, just two minutes. Okay, so down at the projections, up is the call to the manufacturing team, trying to understand what the problem is. But at the same time, I get another message from the research lab. Danny, one minute, really just one minute, we have to have your decision on something or we are stuck. Okay, so down is the call with the manufacturing team, up is the call with the research team, which is not gonna be a minute, but that's anyways. <laughs> and that is exactly the point when I remembered, oh geez, I have to write that into my financial projection, that's what I was missing. So I take a napkin and write it down, otherwise I forget. But that was the napkin around the sandwich, which now I'm not gonna eat, because in one minute I meet the surgeons right before the investors will come. I mean, seriously, I'm not joking. I'm never bored at work. It's always very entertaining. But what I'm doing is really extreme multitasking. I need to learn and train myself to listen to A, talking about B, looking at C, and thinking about D. And this is like a survival skill for me right now. 
Okay, so the day, the, the day is over. I'm extremely tired. I'm exhausted. My head is full of thoughts. And my phone is still blinking with messages and emails. But now it's family time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, you know, um, yeah, my bed, my kids will go to bed in two hours, so I need to be there for them. And here comes the classical scene at home. My husband, sitting here in front row, <laughs> comes and says, look, we need to finish the text declaration really seriously now, or we're going to be late. Okay, sure. And my daughter runs, really runs towards me, Mama, I need to learn the Swiss German song for tomorrow recital, and I cannot do it without you, please. I mean, I need your help. Okay, sure. And my son, sitting on the floor very quietly, is a gentleman, just with his own language saying, Mama, I haven't seen you for the whole day, for God's sake. I mean, do you want to sit a bit down here and play some cards? I've been waiting for you the whole day. All right, so oof, let's take a deep breath. Let's scan the situation. Um, how about that? Let's sit all of us on the floor. The little one will be happy. Uh, let's put the text declarations on the big screen on TV so I can see better. And uh, let's all listen to the beautiful German song of my daughter. <laughs> she's good. She's good. She's good. No, she's good. It's not that bad. She's good. Um, and let me grab a banana because I'm really hungry and I know my son eats everything. He's going to eat all of it, so I'm not going to eat. And can please somebody, please, before midnight, remind me to buy that garden set online because it's on sale so until then. And my son goes like, me. <laughs> well, yeah, hilarious, right? But you see what I'm doing, right? You got the point. So I am training to listen to A, talk about B, looking at C, and think about D. But when I'm done, I'm really exhausted, I'm tired, I'm dirty, and I'm really, really, really hungry. So next time that I'm at, all, I'm at work and my energy maybe low is a little bit lower, and I'm a bit sick maybe, or I have a headache, I'll know how to react. It's, really, it's a brilliant thing. Now, um, I told you, I mean, multitasking is really on my daily plate. I mean, it's something which I do from Monday to Monday. There is no weekend in that. Um, but when it comes to long-term endurance, it's all about engaging. So what do I mean with that? Um, life in a startup is fun. It's a lot of fun. I think I'm never going to be able to do another job after, after this. Uh, but it's also very, very difficult for everybody. Things change all the time. Um, the workload is very high, the pressure is very high, you need to be extremely flexible and adaptive. The salaries are low for everybody, not just for the women. <laughs> and um, <laughs> at, least, at least we are gender equal, right? Um, but, you know, one day everything goes down the drain and everybody's super frustrated, and the day after everything goes even too well. Everybody's overwhelmed and jumping around. How do you keep the team performing on such a roller coaster? <laughs> and how do you keep the investors excited all the time? How do you keep the partners committed? I mean, me, myself, and I alone is gonna go nowhere. It is all about engaging. Engaging is the key feature. Engaging is the key topic. If people feel part of a mission, of a long-term mission, of a vision, of something grand, they will feel you know, part of a great story, they will do magic. So since the very beginning in my company, uh, we have a monthly meeting called B4B, my invention of a name. Nobody likes it, by the way. It's called uh, Brain for Brain. Um, and uh, it's, <laughs> it started because we have four different locations in Zurich, so we never meet really everybody. And I said, okay, once a month at least, we have to be together. And we have breakfast together, and we have time to chit chat and talk to each other. And then we show the big master mother company plan with all the possible changes, the deviations, the delays, the problems. And above all of that, really, we try to remark and remind ourselves, why are we here? Why is even the company existing? Why are we needing that? What is our goal? And that is the key message. And then we have time for exchanging frustrations, complaints, we cry. No, it's not, we don't cry. But we, we do have applause sometimes. Sometimes good things happen. And it's really important because my, my work team deserves to be engaged so that when, when we need each other, and we need each other all the time, in good and bad times, we can succeed as a company. Now, at home, things are a little different. Uh, we live the day, the week, maybe the month, <laughs> 
Um, but everything goes so fast. Kids grow that fast. You need to adapt to their evolution in a way. And you just forget to envision. You just forget to uh, engage your family in, in, in a vision. So actually having a company, being a CEO of a startup, reminds me of engaging my family in a mission and in a vision in a way which I would have never really expected to happen. So what do we envision for our family? What do me and my husband want for this family? We want our family to grow old and healthy with no regrets, like many others. We want to leave an impact on people that we meet, because it's our, our legacy. And we want to enjoy every single day of this life, because we know that it can, you know, can, can finish any time. We don't know how long we have. And we want our kids to share that vision. We want them to engage into that vision, because I want my kids to become individuals that care about the others, any for sort of color, kind, and shape of others, that they will try to reach their dreams, no matter what they are, and try to get there no matter how hard it gets. And they will really value empathy and honesty above all. So how do you do that? There is no textbook for that. How do you engage kids in a vision? Or maybe I could write one. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about that right now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real. Um, I really spend a lot of time with them, as much time as I can. Actually, being a boss gives you that flexibility, more than being a regular employee, so I'm very glad. And I sit with them, and first of all, I try to explain them what I do, uh, so that they can see how passion and determination can change the world step by step. That world that sometimes really is so hard to explain to a seven and a two-year-old. And I try to explain them that life is good and bad at the same time and that they are the center of my universe. They truly are, of course they are. But the mama has to be there for others too. She cannot be along with them the whole day. And uh, I try to really put a lot of effort in boosting and feeding their creativity and curiosity, because I'm sure this is really something I believe in. A creative and curious mind is a happy mind. So the other day I was, of course, working on my laptop at home, working on a presentation, and my daughter came by and said, Mom, show me what you're doing. And she's used to see all my pictures anyways. And she's like, Mom, really, seriously, what you do is so cool. I mean, you try to help kids with burns. I mean, this is really, really nice. And you know, kids love watching movies. We are cousins on YouTube. Why don't you do a movie to show what you do, to explain to kids what you do so everybody knows and everybody's happy? And I was like, Wow, I mean, look at her. She's using her creativity to reach out to the world, to reach out to the other kids. How proud am I? <laughs> so I said, sure, you know what? Let's do it together. It was extremely fun doing it. It took forever, but it was raining outside, so it's okay. Um, it was a lot of fun. The movie is now online. I hope many kids will watch it because she's extremely proud of it. She tells the world about it. Special thanks go to Daddy that cooked uh, the whole day through delicious food to keep us uh, running and shuffled the music so that we could keep the brain creative. And special thanks also go to Nonna, Grandma, that entertained the little one uh, the whole day, keeping him away from the precious keyboard. <laughs> um, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, my family, I mean, my, my home team deserves to be engaged in a bigger mission because we need each other. We need to support each other in bad and good times. And we need to succeed as a family. So what is my message today? Being a mother and a manager, it's no piece of cake. <laughs> it is not even close to a piece of cake. Uh, but you know, I mean, at the end of the day, mothers and managers have so much in common, so much to share, that they end up blending into one unique, strange, hybrid, superwoman creature with magical powers, hopefully. I don't fly yet, though. Um, and you know what? We need really many more of those, because they have so much to give to the future generations, to the society, to the community, to the business, to the industry, as we learned today. We really have to empower these women and not discriminate them or unfairly treat them or even discourage them by saying, why are you doing that now? It's nonsense. 
we have to break this vintage, middle age, old style of habits and, and break, break them and rewrite them completely. And we need to give these creatures the right support. They will not do that alone. Every Batman needs his Robin. And you need to, yeah, or maybe two. <laughs> but um, the, the, uh, you need to give them all the support. Strong partners, better childcare, equal salaries, um, shared paternity, maternity leave, whatever you want to call it, home office options, and a little bit of respect, a little bit of patience, a little bit of understanding wouldn't harm, you know? And if they would have all that package of support, they will do magic and they will be able to create very strong home and work teams around them. So that when life hits, because it will, they will feel bold and fight. Thank you very much.